I'm G and I'm in Bruce B right now. I use Africel 4G because it has the fastest speed and the widest coverage. Okay. I'm going to talk to us about um, um, the traffic congestion that uh, we are facing right now. The ministry is aware of it and uh, we have put in place plans to work on the problem. And um, it involves road construction, road diversions, but you will also agree with me that no matter how wide our roads are, if it is not managed properly, we will continue to face the congestion. So we also have traffic uh, management team in place. Well, the, the congestion you've seen is one. Um, uh, the, the causes are one. Uh, the vehicle population, of course, over the years have increased. You have seen. Uh, we have an explosion of, of course, vehicle ownership um, over the year, uh, the past year. Um, that being the case, the capacity becomes a problem because we all want to use the roads at the same time. Uh, like in the mornings, the traffic flows from the Combos, Serekunda, or towards Banjul. Um, in the afternoon, during peak hours, you know, it's the reverse. We all head for, you know, the same directions again. So the, it becomes a capacity problem because the amount of traffic we have, uh, if we all want to use the roads at the same time, of course, really, uh, capacity, that's one of the reasons why capacity becomes a problem. Um, the roads become, they're becoming congested. Um, uh, the other reason is because of settlement patterns. If you look at it now, people are settling towards the Bruce Ubi ends, the cartons and, you know, moving away from the congested urban settlements of Serekunda and Banjul. So this is why you have, a f during peak hours, you have a flow of traffic towards the combos. Bruce will be going towards Burfoot, the Burfoot Heights. That's, those are the areas where people are eyeing for now these days when it comes to settlement. So uh, that's one of the reasons. Yeah, you are very right. That's why I say, you know, they are both, you know, short terms, uh, medium, and then the long term, you know, that we have in place. You know, the short term uh, measures are aimed at uh, enhancing, you know, the smooth, you know, flow of, you know, traffic at the moment. You know, because if you look at uh, the transport sector or the industry in general, is dominated by the informal, you know, transport public transport. So normally this informal transport you know, operators you know, is very difficult to control them because you know, they are also contributing you know, to the congestions you know, on our roads. For example, now there are no designated you know, stops you know, for the vehicles you know, to stop. They can stop you know, anywhere. They can pick up you know, passengers you know, from anywhere. And then this also obstructs you know, the smooth flow of the traffic. And then if you look at maybe some of the designs of some of the, the Johnsons, uh, you can also realize that they also obstruct you know, the smooth flow of the traffic. So the aim of our joint uh, visit is to identify you know, some of these bottlenecks you know, so that you know, we can address them you know, immediately. Some of the roads, you know, if you look at you know, the the design, you know, we will look at, you know, the designs so that, you know, we can make it in such a way that, you know, the vehicles, you know, when they are parking on the road, they will not obstruct, you know, the, the, the flow of the traffic. And also, you know, we are thinking of, like, you know, creating designated, you know, car parks, you know, for in various, you know, re uh, regions. That is, you know, in Banjul and the KMC. Because, you know, if you look at, you know, the vehicles also, the way, uh, their garages are also, you know, affect, you know, the, the traffic. But now we're thinking of, you know, working with the local government and then the area councils so that, you know, we can have, you know, designated, you know, car parks whereby, you know, all the vehicles, you know, will go. So the vehicles, you know, when they leave the car park, it means, you know, they will go straight to their desti uh, destinations rather than, you know, standing on the roads, you know, picking up, you know, passengers. We have plans to address this and by this we want to 
uh, upgrade most of our key roads and come up with, of course, a new infrastructure, new road infrastructures that would, of course, address this problem at hand. One of its, one of the solutions is we want to dualize the Sting Corner Road through Senegambia to the airport. Dualizing, I mean, we want to upgrade it to a four-lane carriageway um, so that it will, of course, contain the traffic that flows in and out towards the combos and beyond, of course, all the way to the airport as well. We are also looking at uh, building a flyover from Sting Corner uh, over the swampy area to Abuko to connect it with, the, of course, the, the Lamin Brikama Highway, which is already a dual carriageway. We think this would offset traffic from the Westfield Brikama Road, which, of course, normally becomes very congested during peak hours in the morning and, of course, in the afternoon uh, when people close work. I'm going to show you why I choose Africell. This is my phone. It has a real 4G SIM card from Africell. And here's the same exact phone with another 4G SIM card from a different network. Let's do a speed test. Wow! I'm getting full coverage with my Africell that reads 80.4 Mbps. And this one is getting like 13.65. This is proof that Africell by far has the fastest speed and the widest coverage.